The highest carp feeder, nine foot. Perfect for the little commercials. Obviously, as the name suggests, specifically for targeting carp. Generally, the nine foot, more for your fish up to about six, seven pounds. Free spirit's always been about choice. And obviously we've got the high S range here. You can see a cork version, an abbreviated version. I personally prefer the abbreviated versions, but obviously we realise there's traditionalists out there who like cork. So we're offering both versions in all the rods we do in the high S range. The real seat we use on the high S series is the Fuji TVSM seat. The reason why we use this as you can see, it's got a cutout on it of the carbon, and therefore you get a lot more feel through the blank. You can literally feel everything when you're playing fish or even during the bite. On the highest range, we use a very exclusive low resin Japanese carbon. It's a very, very good material to work with. It means that we can make very slim, very light, responsive blanks. And one of the key things about it is the fact that being very low resin, the rods don't soften at all. On top of the actual carbon itself is an additional carbon, which is a 1K weave. This gives the rod an attractive finish, but also doesn't carry any paint or lacquer. The 1K weave on the top doesn't have any paint or lacquer. We're very well known for this finish and we call it a durable finish. It's very difficult to achieve, because when you put a paint or a lacquer on, it actually hides a lot of the flaws in the blank. So therefore the grinding of the blanks has to be spot on to achieve this. But one of the things it does give you is that the blank itself has a lifetime finish. So therefore it won't get scratched or bleached in the sun. As you can see, I'm applying quite a lot of pressure to this and it's left a bit of a mark. But that mark is just literally from the edge of the coin. The guides we use are actually what we would term anti-frap. This means they're slightly forward facing. And the idea being, if you're using heavier lines, and in particular shock leaders, that it goes flying through the guides and you don't get any frap ups. And this goes right the way up through the rest of the rod, right the way through to the tip. The quiver tips on the high S range are a bit special. We've actually made a bit of a name for ourselves with these because these are actually hollow and made from the same carbon as the actual rod itself. This has some advantages in that the feel through the quiver tip is just so much better. Obviously being hollow, it's hollow to hollow and there's no flat spots either in the rod. And for casting and fish playing, this just a much more even curve of the rod. The power feeder quiver tips feature larger guides. This is for the use of shock leaders that are commonly used on places like Boddington. On the carp feeder range, the guide is smaller, and again, this keeps the tip more responsive. The highest rods feature a hook keeper on the side of the blank. This means it's out of the way when you're casting. Being fixed, it's much easier to put the hook into as well. <laughs> 